remodeling tutorials with myself Leighton on NSK TV. Uh, we are now moving forward and as promised, we're gonna get a little bit more complicated. We're gonna go into two balloon model and I'm also gonna give you the, probably the most requested balloon model I can do. Um, but I'm gonna make it nice and easy and give it, show you a one balloon version of it. So you don't have to use lots and lots of fancy different shaped balloons to appeal to every little girl's favorite request. So first of all, we're gonna do our two balloon model, which is a flower. Everybody needs to know how to make a flower. So I'm gonna make it with standard colors. I'm gonna make a green stem and then a yellow flower. Very, very simple. It's a very simple model to make, but super impressive and always appreciated. So we're gonna blow the balloon up. Now, for the stem, we don't need a lot of space. So there we can see I've gone for sort of two fingers. Always win the balloon as well. And we're gonna tie that knot in. Now, bonus from learning this flower is, stretch it out, soften it up. It's also gonna be a sword, if you don't put the flower on the top. So for the handle, measure it up. How big your person's hand? So I've got, oh, I've probably got seven fingers there. All right, so I'll give it a pinch and a twist. We're gonna put a petal twist on because it is gonna have petals. So I bend the balloon over, you see one up there, and that, make that a little bit smaller, is four fingers. Yeah, pinch it and twist it in. So you've just made six fingers handle, bent it over, four fingers, and you're gonna put this balloon into that twist. So you're gonna pinch and twist it in. We're gonna repeat that again. So I want it to be a similar size. Now it's just squeeze it to soften it up. Match it up. Pinch the balloon and then twist it in. And what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna twist them around each other so they're locked in. Now, what you have got here, if you were to give that to somebody, see that, there we go. It's a sword. The most simple balloon sword you can ever ask for, but it is still appreciated. So there we go. Now for the bottom of this flower, to make sure it looks like a flower, we're actually gonna go with a third petal. All right, so we're gonna measure it up again, bend it over, make it the same as the previous one. Give it a pinch and a twist. And then I'm gonna twist it in. So what I'm doing now is twist it in. This is the new one. That's one of the current ones. I'm grabbing them both and giving them both a twist. Bring them around until what was my sword blade, which is now my stem, is on top. So there we go, you can see the three petals. That's our stem. I'm gonna bend it over and give it a friction twist. So I'm gonna grab it and twist it. So I've got a nice right angle coming up. All good and simple so far. Yeah? No think complicated. You're so I said a yellow flower. So I need a yellow blue. It could be a pink, it could be orange, it could be whatever colour you want your flower to be. Now, you made a petal twist three times. Here. One, two, three. That is a petal twist because that is the petals of a flower. And you are going now to make as many as you can in this one balloon. That's all you're doing is just petal twists. Now, four is sufficient, five looks great, six is a dream. It will take some practice to size up the balloon and know exactly what you're doing with it and just feel comfortable twisting the petals into one another and you will, without a doubt, pop some balloons. But don't be afraid, it's practice, okay? Practice, 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 you'll be perfect. So, blow this balloon up. I'm gonna leave quite a bit of length this time. We can half a pump more, all right? So I've got five fingers left at the end. There we go, five fingers. Let a little bit out, because always wind it, make it nice and soft. Time my knot in, give it a squeeze and a stretch to make sure it's nice and pliable. Now the key to getting as many petals in as possible is not getting too carried away. So I'm gonna keep the petals quite small. There we go, there's my first twist, I'm pretty clearer there. Four fingers. What I've got to do now is take the knot and twist that into the balloon. There's my knot. 
and we're going to thread that through so that locks it in place. And that's our start. All right, that's the trickiest part. So just twist the knot in and then pull it through the hole in your first petal. Now it's a matter of repeat, repeat, repeat. Little squidge, yeah, make it soft. So I'm sizing them up, they're the same size. Little pinch and then twist them into one another. And that's the key now, is to keep twisting your new petal into one of the previous petals. Squidge, soften it up, size it up. There we go. Now see I'm gonna grab two petals at once. And see how nice, I'm just giving it a twist before and just make that look a little bit easier. And then we're twisting this. Let's so soften it up. So now you're already three in. One, two, three. Yeah, one more. And if you're getting a bit nervous, you can stop. All right, but we're going to get more in. Size it up at the same again. Hold on to it. Give it a little twist beforehand. And then twist that in to itself. So now I've got four. I keep going, I give it a little squidge, keep it nice and soft. I size it up, so same size. A little twist beforehand. I actually think this time we're going to only have five. Okay. I've not really paid my full attention to it. But here we go, we've got one, two, three, four, five. So if I give that a squidge, we should get away with it. It's, see, it's still nice and soft, it is very pliable. So we're all going to plan. We're going to get six in here. Pushing that hair backwards, so we've got some more to go. So, there we go, the final one. Size it up. I've only got a little bit left, so I give it a little twist. And now, put the two petals in on each other. So, I've got a bit of a weird concoction there. All you've got to do is strain it up and pull all the petals alongside one another. So it looks like that. You can see that little bit I had left over. There we go. It's made a little ball. That's not a problem. Because I'm just going to pop that. There we, go. there we go. And because I've already twisted it in, it's going to stay. It's perfectly fine. Don't have to panic about it. If I had a bit more flex, if I had a bit more left over, I might twist that in and just tie it up. But we don't need to panic about that. No, just make sure it's all nicely lined up. Now what you're looking for is there will be, there it is, an opening. See this one, there's not much not much room to get in there, but there's always a gap. And that's the end of the balloon and the beginning of the balloon. You need to find that. This will make the next bit easier. Because what we're gonna do, we're gonna put a little twist in there. So two fingers tops. You've got a little green ball. Yeah, look at a little green ball. That section where we found the beginning and the end of the balloon, there we go, you can see it through my t-shirt. You have put that, whoop, lost it, there we go. Put the focus back in, find this again, there we go. You're gonna put that twist into that gap there. You see, I'm just pushing, and it pop straight in. There we go. And there's your flower. That is a perfectly appreciable flower. But what I like to do is I just like to give the petals a twist and actually turn them on an angle. Let me do it. I can't do it from behind. I need to see it. And just by putting, just doing that with the petals so they twist slightly rather than sitting straight out. I think it gives us a lovely finishing touch. Yeah? And if you really want to go all out, little spray of a lovely floral um, room freshener or perfume. May it smell of a flower as well. Lovely little finishing touch there for you. And there is a flower. Your first two balloon creation. Yeah. Now if you want to get really clever with this, we can add a, a little extra onto that. How about a ladybird. So I'm going to grab a red balloon and I'm going to teach you the hardest twist so far. But we'll have some fun with it. That's all you need. 
I just did two pumps and that's still too much. Tie a knot in it. Now what I'm gonna teach you is called a tulip twist or an apple twist. And what that basically is, is you'll take the knot and you push it into the balloon, pinch with this finger and twist it in. That's a straightforward uh, tulip twist. But we don't want it to go down the middle because we're gonna make a face with this twist. Yeah, we're gonna make a really cheesy smiley face with this twist. So you're gonna take two fingers on the nut and you're gonna push it, not down the middle of the balloon like that, you're gonna push it towards the bottom edge. All right, so you're gonna push the balloon in and this will take some practice. So I'll steady push it in so you can see. And now, get some light around. My fingers are now here on the base of the balloon, not in the middle. And I pinch in the knot with these fingers so I've now got the knot in between those fingers there. And we're now gonna twist the balloon. Oh. Let that go, do it again. Let's push that down. We wanna make sure we get that smiley face effect. Pull my fingers out carefully, there we go. So I've got the knot in my fingers and I'm gonna twist. So it's very important the knot is here and not on this side, otherwise it comes undone. Five twists and now I'm gonna push the knot back in there. So it's completely trapped. And if you look at it now, it's got a bit of a smiley face. See the little turn up? And that's what we're looking for. That's our ladybird's mouth. For the body, three fingers, give it a twist. And now you're gonna make four, that's four, one finger bubbles. You can see roughly the same size, that's two, three, one more. Because this is gonna be good practice for that special balloon. So the last one just won't make the same, but there we go. So there we go. Four balloons are roughly the same size, all pretty even, pretty close. Now you're gonna take this twist and twist into that twist. So bend over, so you've got your four like so. Grab the pair of them and twist them together. Trickiest part coming up. So like we've done this on previous models when we've pushed things through, we're gonna push the body through the legs. So notice I've got a finger on each leg and that's gonna roll the body and my thumbs are on the back, so I'm gonna push and roll. So I'm pushing with my thumbs, can you see? And I'm rolling my fingers. So the head goes one side and the body went straight through the middle. There we go, there's our ladybird. Now, we're gonna, you can use this as a wristband. You can just chop the end off, let the air out and then wrap it around the neck and plop it on somebody's wrist. But we're gonna add it on to our balloon. So we do need to cut the end off. So you get your trusty scissors or one of these devices, okay? They vary in price from 15 pound to two pound 50. Depends how good you are at searching. And they will literally, just a slicer, you wear it on your, your belt and you just pull the balloon through it cuts off. Very handy, useful piece of equipment. So let that deflate down to there. Give it a pinch because we don't want too much deflating. Find where you want it to go on your balloon, on your flower. I'm going to pop it onto the stem. Wrap it around. Wrap it into the neck. And then I'm just twisting it around its neck. And then hide any extra. Just hide any extra under the body between the feet. There we go. Just, just position the head up slightly, so let me look at the flower. There we go. So there's our flower with a ladybird. You don't believe it's a ladybird? All right. We make sure you believe it's a ladybird. So 
Now it's a ladybird. If you want a little bit of a face, you've got a mouth already. Yeah, we've made that with the balloon. Nose. Little eyes. And then a little spiral. Can you see that little spiral? And another little spiral for a ladybird. There we go. It's now a three balloon design. Awesome! So, in this creation, you learn to make a sword with the base. You learn to make a flower. This is a very useful design because you can use this for, for the base of more complex designs. And you learn a ladybird. Ideal for those little ones to wear because they don't want to carry them. They don't walk around carrying a balloon. They want a balloon. They don't want to carry a balloon. Ask your mum and dad, how many times they've had to carry your balloons because you wanted one, but you didn't want to carry it. They just pop it on the wrist. Brilliant. So, the final balloon, the com most complicated but easiest balloon version of a unicorn, all right? So it's probably the hardest balloon I've made with you so far, but it's not difficult. But it's the easiest unicorn design you can do. One balloon, that's all we need. We don't need a lot of uh, air in the balloon either. One, two, three. That's all I'm putting in it. Still let a little wind out, tie your knot. Now this, you will definitely have to practice proportions to get it right. Because with the way it works, it will make sense to go along, but it's always a thing to practice your proportions. So, two finger bubble I start off with, and I'm not starting like we did with the dogs from the nose, I'm starting from the tail, so it's just a very cute little tail. I'm then going to go on to four finger, as always, still holding my first twist, Measuring up my four fingers, give it a twist, five twists, bring it back. I want that to be the same as the first one, so that's another four finger twist. Now this will come undone. So when you're at this stage, little rabbit face, a little dog face, as we did with the, the ladybird, roll with your fingers, push through your thumb, lock that in place. There we go. Now we just want a short body, I'm only going to give it a three finger body. You want to get the legs the same, all right? So that was all it was, three fingers and twisted it in. Now we're going to go with the legs, four fingers. Get the legs the same as the previous leg. Twist that in, there we go. Now, like we did for the ladybird, with the bubbles, you want to male make smaller bubbles. You want six of them. So see how small they are. They're not even a finger. Right? They're like they're like little finger. Yeah. So you're gonna make six little bubbles like the ladybird's legs. There we are. I got four. All looking pretty even. There we go. One missing. Five. Six. You're gonna twist this twist on the body into this twist on the rest of the balloon. So now you've got this weird dog-like shape with a bunch of grapes halfway up. Give it a bit of a squeeze. Measure up, because this is going to be the main, how far they will stretch. So I'm just laying them down the balloon, see how far they will stretch, and I'm going to put a twist at the top of them. You're going to do like the ladybird. Fingers around the balls, thumbs on, and you push it through. Turn it around. You can now see that's the main of the balloon, of, of the unicorn. We're going to put in a one finger bubble at the top. This is now to represent your ears. And you're going to take the twist, such as here, into the twist on the remainder of the balloon. One, two, three, four, five, that's always my minimum count. So that's kind of like the ears of our unicorn. But this unicorn's got a really big long nose and we didn't ask for an anteater or an aardvark. So you're gonna take that and you're gonna pull it. So I've bent it backwards and I'm gonna pull it up under the chin of my unicorn, around the back of its ears and back in front. And there you have your unicorn. It's a very simple design, 
only using one balloon, the difficult thing is working on your proportions. So I gave that three plumps of hair, one, two, three, and let a little bit out. Four fingers for the legs, three fingers for the body, match the front legs up to the back legs, little finger bubbles, so they're not even a, a, a normal finger, they're smaller, they're like a little micro bubble. I did six of them, measure the neck to fit those, so however they big they are, is your neck, and then a one finger bubble for the ears. And then you can just pop some eyes on there if you want to really finish it off with your sharp yard. But generally you will find most people, or most children, are over the moon with this. For our eyes. I do that kind of shape. You don't know why, but my unicorns always have eyelashes. And a little eye. There we go. You just match that up on the other side. As best you can. And there we go. And there's my unicorn. And there is your Thursday balloon tutorial. Okay. I hope you've enjoyed. Remember guys, if you are having a crack at this and you are making the balloons, feel free, take the pictures, post them on the Facebook page, Nonstop Kids Entertainment Limited. Post us your balloons. We will then share them. We'll add them into the videos and let other people see them. Let us see what you are doing. Let me see your wonderful work. And I will also be going on the Facebook page live on St. George's Day, okay, which is next week. And I will be bringing you a St. George's Day special balloon creations. I will be getting you ready to go and fight those mythical dragons. So, show me your images, show me what you're doing, how you're getting on with your balloon models. And look out for me next week on Facebook Live on Nonstop Kids Entertainment Limited. From me, take care. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.